All right, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. And today we've got our newest addition to our inventory, this being a 1959 Dodge D100 swept side pickup truck. Uh, now these, these trucks were uh, uh, kind of on the rare side uh, from all the research and so forth that we're seeing right now. Uh, it's believed um, that there were only about 100 of these produced for 1959 and it's also believed that there's only maybe 30 or fewer of them still remaining out there today. Uh, now this particular truck here that we're going to take a look at, this is an unrestored uh, model here. So again, we're just going to take you through the underside of the truck right now, show you exactly what it is that we're looking at, and then we'll go ahead and get it down like we always do and take you around the outside of it. Uh, now this truck here, it's got the all wood bed in it. You can see that up underneath here. All the wood looks to be in pretty good condition. Um, some of the hardware has been replaced with new stuff there. Um, so most of that looks good back here. The frame sections on it, and you can see those down each side. You can see your cross members here also. Those are in really good condition. Nice and straight, there's no patching whatsoever, no piecing together. They're good, solid metal and nice and straight pieces. Um, you can see the dual exhaust here also, and that is true duals coming all the way from the stock cast exhaust manifolds back into the dual mufflers and then out the dual tailpipes on either side, and they are finished off with some, a set of pro exhaust tips. Um, all of your exhaust hangers and so forth are in good condition. Again, slightly newer hardware and all of that stuff too as well. Now in between each of the wood boards on the bed, it does have the, uh, the stainless slats, but they have been painted. Uh, they're, I believe, a black, uh, like a flat or a matte black paint. Uh, and they look really good too for, it, uh, for as old as what the truck is. Uh, now as far as our running gear, braking, um, suspension and stuff like that back here. We'll just talk about it from you know side to side as we always do. Now as far as tires go, it's got original style tires on it. The big white wall tires and these are G7815s. So again that means they're mounted on the 15 inch wheel. It is just the stock factory steel wheel with the hubcaps on the exterior and we'll take a look at that as we get it down too. Uh, now this has drum brakes all four corners and it's all manual drum. Again, back in the day here, 1959, uh, you know, power was you know, few and far between, especially in these trucks here. Uh, as far as suspension, all stock suspension on the back end of this truck. It's got the multi-leaf rear suspension on it. It's got newer shocks both on the rear as well as the front. And then this is your no par quarter inch rear end here uh, on the truck. So again, as you can see, all of these components look to be in really good condition. Um, you can take a look further up here too a little bit and see more of the exhaust. But what we'll do right now, uh, we'll move up to the center of the truck. All right, here we are now underneath the center of our 59 D100 swept side Dodge pickup truck here. Um, so as I'm looking here, I'm looking straight up, um, I can see um, the bottom of the cab floors. Um, now everything on this truck is all metal. Um, there's no fiberglass whatsoever here. So all metal. Um, the floors look to be in great shape on this truck. Um, from what I understand, this should have about 32,000 original mile on it. So again, nothing should be in, in too bad a condition on it really for the age of the truck. Um, as you can see, here's your fuel uh, tank. It's mounted in stock location. Uh, it's the original tank, uh, original style tank. Looks to be really good condition too. The metal is great on this thing. And it is a steel tank. Um, so again, she's mounted there. All the hardware looks good that mounts it in there too. So it's good and solid in there. Uh, like I said, floors are good and solid. There's no patching whatsoever. Um, the big heavy duty drive shaft, you can see that there. I don't think you're going to run a risk of breaking that anytime soon. Uh, and then your exhaust system, again, you can see dual mufflers there, and they're of the straight tube style. And then again, we've already seen uh, tailpipes out both sides of the truck there. It's got the crossover pipe in here also to help equalize pressure. Um, 
And uh, again, frame rails down both sides are nice and square and straight. Um, also, uh, your cross members, you've got a big one right here, um, back here, which your exhaust is kind of mounted to too. And then all the way up here, underneath the transmission and motor here, you've got your cross member here, all of which are in very good condition. Nice and straight. You can tell they haven't been worked over by anything. Just a good quality um, you know, truck underneath here. Uh, now, as far as the transmission, um, this would be, uh, I believe I run the numbers on this, and I believe uh, it's out of like a 1957 is what the date code is on it, but it's a new process 420 uh, four speed transmission. Um, and you can see uh, back in the day here, it looks like they've got uh, their semblance of a trans brake back here. Um, so again, that's all intact and in functioning condition. So uh, everything looks good. Um, now you can also see here the front suspension components, and we'll take a look at that better too once we get up front. But again, it's all the traditional style suspension, all stock, multi-leaf, the I-beam front cross member, uh, just how this truck would have come from the factory. So uh, let's go ahead and move up front. All right, and here we are now underneath the front of our 59 Dodge D100 step side. So again, everything up front here, just as you would find it uh, whenever it came out of the factory off of the line, whenever this truck was produced. Um, we've got the G78 uh, uh, 15 tires up front here, all original style, white wide walls on those with the factory steel 15 inch wheels and hubcaps. Um, again, drum brakes both front and rear on this truck and they are manual. Uh, and then as far as suspension goes, it's all the stock stuff. So you've got your stock style I-beam front cross member here. Um, you've got your multi-leaf front suspension. Again, as I mentioned before, the shocks on this thing do uh, appear to have been changed fairly recently. So again, all newer, you know, front and rear shocks on it. Um, everything though looks to be, you know, maintained fairly well in the truck though. You've got your big old, uh, um, whatever you want to call it here, drag length going from side to side for your steering. Um, you can see the rubber dust boots are intact on the ball joints and you can tell it's been greased. So, I mean, it looks to be maintained well. You can even see on your pitman arm and so forth that all that stuff looks good too. Um, now again, drum brakes, um, they are what they are. Your uh, spindles out here, uh, they look to be in really good condition too for the age of the truck. But again, as I said, you know, the truck is older. It doesn't really have that many miles on it though for as old as what it is. Um, if we look up directly right here in front of us, uh, right in the center here, this is uh, the 318 wide block motor. Um, that's what uh, is in this truck. Um, it's got the stock cast exhaust manifolds, again, hooked up to that new process 420, four speed transmission back there. Um, so that's really about it. The, again, non-power steering truck, non-power brake truck. Looks to have from here the, uh, you know, a factory style radiator in it, a four blade fan, um, and pretty much just all stock components um, other than that as I look up through into the engine compartment. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and get it down off the lift. We'll take you around the outside. We'll show you the paint, the interior, under the hood. We'll show you inside the bed as well. And uh, that way you can see exactly what it is we're, we've got here. And a uh, uh, nice little piece that you could add. Uh, again, a lot of history here uh, with the 59 and not being a lot of these made. So uh, we'll see you once we get it down off the lift. Okay, we got our truck finally down off the lift here. And again, to rehash, this is a 1959 Dodge D100, and that's the swept side pickup truck here that we have. Um, again, um, as I stated just briefly in our underside video, um, it's believed that there were only about 100 of these ever produced for 59. And it is believed also that there's only about 30 of them in existence today, making this one of those 30. So again, it is a bit of a rare truck. Um, so, and again, ours here is a completely untouched, unrestored, uh, low mile truck here. Again, uh, as I mentioned, we believe there's about 32,000 original miles on this. Um, so again, for what we have here, sitting here unrestored, 
this truck is in really good condition considering all the above. So we've got here, again, 1959. It's got the two-tone paint on it. We've got the buckskin tan uh, for the lower body color, I guess. And then you have the sand dune white for your upper body color here. Now, all of the, the trim, the moldings, all the bright work on this truck, it's all original stuff and it's all intact too. It's not missing anything. Um, so all of your, your moldings here that go back the side of the body, even all the moldings and bright work that go back the side of the bed, that's all original stuff and that's what this truck would have come with from the factory. Um, bumpers, um, all of that stuff, it's all original. So again, it is showing a little bit of its age as you get closer to it, but it's still in really good condition, um, you know, considering how old this truck is. Um, now as far as tires on the truck, uh, you can see it's got the old school, um, the wide white wall tires here. These are G7815s, uh, that's the size on the tires, all four of them. All mounted on 15 inch steel. These would have been the factory steel wheels. They do have the hubcaps so that cover up the whole wheel. And the hubcaps are in really good shape too. A lot of times you see those and they're dented a little bit and really kind of aged. These are really nice condition. Um, you have the 100 uh, badging up here on the side of the hood. Of course, you got Dodge here on the fender. Now, our truck here, it does have. Um, the mirrors here, both the driver's side and the passenger side mirrors up there. Uh, the doors, uh, doors fit really good in this truck. Again, something this old, sometimes you really don't uh, care too much about the fitment because again, they were kind of put together at the factory kind of crude. But again, you can look at the gaps on this thing and look how well it is still maintained here today. Um, so again, all of that works good. The um, glass in this thing is all original too um, so and there's no cracks or chips or anything in it. again well maintained throughout its years we'll just open up the door just a little bit i know you probably can't see a whole lot here but uh, the interior it's two-toned as well uh, it's got the brown and the white inside um, you've got door panels you've got the bench seat up front kind of a combination of a, a vinyl and a cloth style seat uh, or upholstery there it's got the rubber floor lining in it as well. Um, and everything's all intact. You know, the factory dash is still in it. Factory steering wheel, all of that. Still in really de decent shape. Weather stripping, not too bad. And it shows a little bit of its age, but there's no big chunks or rips or tears out of it. It still looks to be in fairly good shape on this truck. Door closes up nice and solid too. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort to do that. Uh, as we work our way back here a little bit, you can see down here the fuel tank, uh, the fill neck still resides in its original location. They didn't change anything there. So again, as I said, unrestored, untouched. Uh, so nothing's been modified on this truck. So now we get to the, you know, basically what makes this truck what it is, the swept side truck. Uh, and that's these big fenders back here on the rear uh, with the, the big fins back here. Um, that's why they called it the swept side. Um, it's got the two-tone back here too. The separation of colors here you see done along with the bright work and the moldings back here. And then as you come back here, you got these big uh, bullet style taillights back here too. Lenses are in excellent shape on those, but we'll take a better look as we come around the back. Um, once again, we've already mentioned the uh, exhaust work on this truck. It's dual exhaust dual tailpipes, chrome tips, you've got one out the driver's side, there's one also over on the passenger side. So what we'll do now is we'll reposition the camera, we'll come back here to the back of the truck. All right, here we are now around the back end of our 59 Dodge D100 swept side truck. So again, we can take a look at you know, the tailgate, um, these big fenders back here, the big, uh, um, you know, uh, Big winged here fenders here with those bullet style taillights. All of the trim work, the bright work that's back here. It's all actually in really good condition, as I said. Uh, these bezels here for your taillights and these bullet style lenses here on the taillights. It's really in good condition back here. The lens covers themselves are perfect. There's no cracks or chips in any of those. 
none of your lenses are marked up real bad there. Um, it just it really looks good back here. The back bumper, of course, like I said, it's all original, you know, chrome and bright work and trim on this truck. So again, the bumper does show a little bit of age there. Um, but again, you could probably steel wool this. Um, you know, the condition of the metal is great. Um, it's just the chrome finish needs a little bit of, uh, you know, tender loving care there. So you could send that out, have it re chrome That would be a beautiful piece there. But again, your lens co covers down here, those are in excellent shape too. Now this truck actually has these little rubbers on them. And uh, I would assume that those are probably like a step pad um, that you could, you know, if you wanted to step up into the bed, you could. Um, and not mark up your bumper there too much. Um, this whole truck um, is all steel. So your tailgate back here, it's all metal. Um, we'll go ahead and lower this down for you real quick. We just need to undo our chain tethers here. Okay, and we'll lower it down. I'm gonna hook our tether back up as we get down here. Okay, and there we go. Now the inside of the bed, really nice. It's got an all wood bed floor in it. The slats here are all painted like a flat or a matte black. Again, the sides of the bed um, are all in excellent condition. Nice and straight as can be inside here. And the unique thing about this truck is, if you're not a person that really knows these trucks too well, this essentially looks like a bed inside of a bed on this truck. Um, so you got your normal bed size here, and then of course they put these big fenders on it on the outside to give it that unique look of which was the swept side uh, D100 truck. Um, but yeah, everything inside of the bed here is, you know, it's in really good condition. Even your tailgate's not marked up too bad. It looks really good. So we'll go ahead and put this back up since we were able to take a look at it. so that it stays in place. Okay, and there we go. Now again, if we look up towards the cab of the truck, I did mention again, it's got all original glass in it. So that big wrap around rear glass, as well as the wrap around front glass, again, all original in excellent condition. There's no chips, no cracks, uh, obviously, in any of that. Even all the seals around all the glass is in excellent shape. So um, now that we're done back here, we'll go around to the passenger side, just take a quick walk up through the passenger side. All right, now we've moved ourselves over to the passenger side of our truck here. So again, we'll just walk up, uh, you know, and just kind of follow along as I walk up uh, the side of the truck here. Uh, again, metal is all in really good condition on this truck, all metal bedsides, cab, fenders, hood, you name it, it's all steel. Uh, as we mentioned before, all of the trim and bright work on this truck is what this would have had on it from the factory. It's all intact, all anchored to the truck very well, and it's all in really good condition for the age of the truck. The paint, two-toned again, the buckskin tan with that sand dune white, uh, it's got those wide white uh, wall tires on it. G7815 are the size. And as I said before, those are 15 inch steel wheels with the full hubcap on it. And again, those hubcaps are in really good condition for this truck. Uh, you can see, I mean, this thing, as far as the paint condition goes, it's, it's not bad at all for being an untouched, unrestored truck. Um, all the metal is nice and straight on this truck too. Um, so again, I don't think you wouldn't have any complaints with this truck whatsoever. Again, as old as it is and being untouched, it is in really good condition. Um, you can see the door over on this side now. Check out the gaps on it, on the back side, on the front side, not too awfully bad there. Paint and metal again, very good. Just open this up real quick here. Take a look inside. You know, your door jam areas are all painted up nice. Your step inside is nice. Again, it's got that bench seat, uh, all brown, but it's got that kind of like a combination of vinyl and cloth on the inside. Um, so yeah, the interior, it's dated obviously because it's an older truck and restored, but uh, it's still in really good condition. Door closes up nice and easy. I already mentioned we've got mirrors on both sides. 
passenger and the driver's side. That wraparound front window there, all the seals are in good condition. Again, the Dodge logo here up on the front fender, the 100 up on the hood. Again, all metal hood. You've got all the trim work too on the side of the hood as well. Uh, on your fenders too, it's all in really good shape. Wheels and tires, again, all in excellent shape for, for what this truck really is. So, and now here we are finally at the front end of our 59 Dodge D100 swept side. So we'll take a look at the snows here, the lights, the grill, the hood, and uh, then we'll open the hood then too for you and take a look at the motor. Uh, again, it's got the side-by-side -side lights uh, up front for your high and low beams. These are just traditional seal beam lights, glass lenses, and there's no cracks or chips in any of those. Um, your bezels that are in here, everything up front on this truck actually looks really good. So the bezels here for your headlights are in really good condition. These housings here that they're in, really good condition. The chrome front grille here, both your upper and lower sections are in excellent shape on this truck. Even your trim work up top here and your Dodge logo across the front side of the hood, that's in really good condition on this thing. Uh, now again, original front bumper here, but again, the front bumper looks really good. Maybe a little bit of steel wool would help that out a little bit. Um, the front bumper doesn't need much help though, but again, it's original. The metal is in excellent condition on it. So again, if you were going to restore this truck, all you'd have to do is unbolt these and send them out for a re-chrome and they would be perfect. Um, the hood, big steel hood here. All metal, like I said, there's no patching or anything, no imperfections whatsoever as far as the metal goes. Uh, again, the paint is still the older paint, but again, it looks really good for as old as what it is. Um, so with that said, we're all done here as far as the X outside of the car goes. Now we're going to go ahead and open this up, and uh, I have to remember how that was. There we go. And then the second latch. There we go. So, inside the hood, they've got it painted black underneath here, kind of like a flat or a matte black. Um, so again, the underside of the hood is still in good condition though. Um, your radiator, your core support, that's in excellent shape. It's all intact. Um, it's got a stock style radiator in it yet. It's manual brake, obviously, manual steering from back in the day. Um, it's the factory air cleaner. Even though this looks a little weird, this is how they would have come factory air cleaner and then this is a uh, what I was told is an oil bath for the air cleaner um, so that was just the way that they you know filtered the air back in the day um, now the motor that is sitting inside here it is the original motor for this truck it is what Mopar called their wide block 318 it's topped off with a one barrel carburetor on it um, and from the research that I uh, kind of put together on it um, um, I think that uh, they're stating a, a whopping maybe 200 horsepower out of this motor. Uh, it still retains the stock cast intake on it, painted valve covers, stock cast exhaust manifolds. Uh, although, like I said, when we did the underside, we do have dual exhaust the whole way out through the back of the truck. So that does help it a little bit. Um, now this does have the factory style generator in it. Uh, not so much an alternator, but a generator. It does the same purpose though. Um, so, and all heater lines are hooked up on it too. Um, so again, it is the way it would have been from the factory. It has all the components that came in this truck from the factory, all the original stuff. So again, original metal, original paint, original motor and drive line, interiors all original in it. Uh, again, for an untouched, unrestored truck, um, I don't think you could get any better than what we're looking at right now. So we'll go ahead and close the hood up on this thing now. We'll go inside, take a quick look at the interior, because again, it's pretty basic, not a whole lot to go over there. Uh, but we'll show you what it is, and uh, the very last thing to do then will be to start it up so you can hear how the motor sounds. All right, now here we are sitting inside of our 1959 Dodge D100 swept side truck, and this is the interior. Again, not a whole lot to go over here, uh, but again, it is all original, all factory interior here that we're looking at here. So we do have the two-tone interior. You've got the brown, you've got the white. Again, they wanted to match it up with the outside, being the uh, buckskin tan and the uh, sand dune white. 
Um, so they, you know, they really, you know, got that across on this truck. Um, now, as far as door panels, you see it's got the partial door panel there. Um, the rest of it would just be the painted door, um, but but the door panels aren't in that bad of shape. Uh, maybe just a little bit of uh, down at the bottom there, a little bit of fraying down there, but uh, other than that, in good condition. Um, the dash itself is factory. It's all painted. The white, uh, the same as the exterior of the truck. Same thing with the steering column and the original factory steering wheel here. Again, a big steering wheel in here, but again, there was a reason for that. These trucks weren't power steering, so you needed that bigger wheel to make the steering a little easier for you when you were driving this truck around. Factory style gauges in there. We've got the fuel gauge, we've got a generator gauge. You also have a 100 mile an hour speedometer in there, uh, the uh, actual water temperature gauge, and the oil pressure gauge are all in the dash. Um, factory style heater control here. Uh, then you have your floor shifter. Again, that was your four speed floor shifter. Uh, and then you can see the big wrap around front windshield here, the wrap around rear glass in here, all of the side glass in the doors as well. All original stuff in good, good condition. There's no cracks or chips in any of the glass as you walk around this vehicle. Uh, bench seat. You can see it's kind of a combination of a vinyl and a cloth style upholstery in here. And then they've tried to match up the headliner also um, with that same kind of that buckskin tan type coloring in here to follow through with everything. These snap-in panels on either side also match the headliner here, which matches the rest of the interior. Um, now back in the day, um, probably in, in a truck like this, you wouldn't have seen carpeting in here, but again, um, you would have had like this rubberized floor, and it is in there. It's all cut to fit, um, and it's in you know decent shape too for uh, the age of the truck. Um, that's really about it. I mean, you've got uh, just the single uh, sun visor over there. Um, the uh, driver side, you now obviously have the mounts for it, but our particular model um, only has the one sun visor in. Doesn't look like it ever had one in over here. Everything's all new looking up here. It doesn't look like there was ever one attached up there. So uh, other than that, uh, that's pretty much it uh, for the interior of our truck. Uh, uh, with that said, um, we're ready. We'll go ahead and get the motor uh, fired up for you so you can hear. And it does run. It runs and drives and all of that stuff. So uh, I think you'll be impressed with that. But uh, until then, uh, you can definitely uh, get in touch with us or ask us any questions, send any comments our way uh, by way of email or you can call us. You can also visit our company website and get in touch with us that way and that is www.hangsters.com.